Wow, this this is just a classy. We're just being classy today. Welcome everyone to the Red Beard Sculpting on Pixel Logic <laughs> with double audio. <laughs> Let me know if the sound's coming in. <laughs> Super classy, right? <laughs> hey, how's it going, Nice Spades? <laughs> Woo! Okay, well, let's see if we'll keep going on this. My wife just informed me that I posted a nude lady on the Instagram, and that may not fly well. <laughs> like, oh, yeah, she's not wearing any clothing, so we might as well put on some clothing. <laughs> hey, how's it going? Audio's good, yes. And I think I fixed the bug of like what was going on last week of the audio keep like the sound, the background stuff just kept dying. So I guess we might as well just like start merging her all together. Um, but how is everybody doing? Woohoo! Sodawa! Welcome, yes! Got these like points backwards and it's bugging me. There we go. Anyways, I've had a good week. We've got um, Trojan horses going on this week. I don't know if any of you have been watching that. It's it's a really cool kind of creative event going on in. Whoa, what happened to her head? That's why it looks so funny. Oh my goodness, okay. Fix it, fix it, fix it. But the Trojan horse thing is really cool. I wish I could be there. It's in Portugal right now. Uh, and it's, it's they've got like all these creative giants in the industry, pretty much. And you go and you learn, um, you just are inspired for five days, which is really cool. So I've been watching that on the streams, getting excited for also the the ZBrush Summit, which is coming up in a couple of weeks, a few weeks. I think we're three weeks out, maybe two and a half weeks, two, three weeks, three weeks out. So that should be pretty, that's going to be awesome as well. The, the Their lineup for that is going to be ridiculously cool and it's all whoa whoa there that feels way better okay Kyle right there Kyle's gonna he's gonna he promised that he'd reveal some secrets this week for <laughs> for the ZBrush Summit only right here right Kyle Right here, secrets to re to be revealed by Kyle. He promised. <laughs> That's not a secret. The calendar, the broadcasting is not a secret, Kyle. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. been a good week i'm getting ready to go um i just found out that i'll be wait i can't say that never mind i'm taking that back what i was gonna say but i am gonna be going to la next weekend really stoked for that we go to la and get to go to see hamilton the musical which is gonna be great I'm super stoked for that. I've been having the soundtrack in my head for for months. So I'll be going to that. Maybe see the Disneyland. I don't know. How do I color the eyes so quickly? I didn't even see you do it. Oh, the eyes. These are like... I, I'll show you a quick demo of the eyes. Th these eyes are literally the easiest thing to do. There's no time. So let's duplicate these just to show how I did the eyes 
so we'll fill that with white. We'll actually just do a fill. And so I just go in with, and I use this SK pen brush to start off with. You could use any standard brush or any paint brush. And then you choose like the base, the darkest base color. So she's got these blue eyes. So I'll choose a dark blue. And then I'm just gonna go take off lazy mouse. And I'm drawing in the circles for her iris, right? And then I'll use switch over to this SK airbrush with my light blue that she'll have for her eyes. And just quickly kind of put that in with a quick shadow. And then I go in with the iris or the pupil and just make a circle. Um, and then sometimes I'll even do like a quick like shadow. Sometimes this helps, sometimes it it doesn't. But because this is just a demo eye and I do not care at all about what it looks like. I just want it there for to see your personality. So you see that, and then I change this material to this zebra eye reflection. Fill that. And that just gives like a little bit of a speck on it, kind of like this eye reflection, and that is it. Super easy, super quick. I mean it is it is like five seconds. And but this is not the final eye that I will be using. I'll actually sculpt you know the iris in and I'll you know make the colors bounce or pop. Bounce. I'm gonna make them bounce, 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 bounce. Oh no lady say bounce, bounce, bounce. So we'll go back to those original eyes because I like them a little bit better. How's it going, Bland? Yes, all good. What's good? Man, what is good? I will say, no, I'm not going to say. Um, everything's good this week. We've been having a lot of fun at work. Doing some, doing some cool stuff. We're getting some marketing stuff ready. And... There's just been, it's been a lot of fun to like, to work on some of these higher end characters, like for cinematic type stuff, if we do cinematic type stuff, but just, it's been a lot of fun. You know, getting ready, you know, a trailer for my hand tutorial that, that I made and it it's gonna <laughs> the tutorial is gonna be or the 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 trailer is gonna be awesome <laughs> oh I'm doing an airbrush there we go this is a trick that I learned from Frank Zing Zing, K -t Zing, Frank Zing. He actually he does more like realistic portraits and realistic stuff. Incredible ZBrush artist. Um, but the way he does his wrinkles is like he sculpts on the inside of things quite a bit. And so I'm like, oh, I could do that with armpits. Got a question for me. Okay, yes, Blinds. Um, about Sally's character's anatomy, what's the trick to keeping it simple? You know, the trick to keeping it simple, and it really depends on, on the type of character that you do, because this is more like she'll fit in the lines of, of more Disney realism where the anatomy is almost all there. I'm just going to. Fill out this stuff just a bit more. So it really depends, but like if I was working on something a little bit simpler, then I'd probably not do so much anatomy. And even still, it's like, well, I've done too much in the abs, so like I keep pulling those back, and and you know, there's there's a fair amount of 
detail in something. So it's it's really just trying to find your balance of not going too far, but more or less designing the anatomy in a way that you can say with one line, like what, you know, maybe two, two lines or three lines of anatomy, like realistic anatomy would do. So I try to do that, especially like in the stomach like area. So like not define all of the abs, but maybe to, to you know, have one group for the top section and one group for the bottom section. You know, it's just, it's, it's all about the balance. And sometimes that's hard. Okay. I think I want to bring all this stuff together now. What's going on back there? Yes. Yes, of course it's a death trap. I'm not going to touch it. <laughs> okay, so let's bring let's merge all this fun stuff together. And then we'll build the clothes and start blocking things out for that. Mm -hmm. Big thicky legs. Okay. Sorry, babe. I just left a bunch of crap at the bottom of the stairs. I don't want it. I'm supposed to yell in the microphone. Hello, Internet. I hope that answers your question, by the way, Blitz, as I've been rambling. Hey, Tiago, how's it going? Welcome to Pixo Stream 2011. Pixo th Stream 2011. Um, in 2017. Hashtag. Happy anniversary as well. 10 years, 16 years since we've known each other. Woo! Thank you, Blands. Yes, we met 16 years ago and we barely just crossed. We were wee babes. And I was just so irresistible to her that she couldn't say no. <laughs> it's, it's true, she says. That's what she's saying. Okay, time to zero mesh some stuff. Let's save. You're fine. They're gonna see what you're working on. Wow, this is so weird. I remember seeing some of your videos on YouTube and I was like, I was just scrolling around the creative section. Woohoo! Well, Slushy Puffs, you came to the right place. My wife likes your name. Slushy Puffs. Okay, let's... We're going to Z-remesh everything. So I make duplicates. And then Z-remesh. And we wait. And we wait. <laughs> Slushy Puff th thanks you. <laughs> well, well, well. So we'll zero mesh this. And I don't know if I have symmetry turned on. I don't have symmetry turned on. That's okay. We're going to undo that. Turn on symmetry just because I want their topology to be the same. And then I will do we'll zero mesh it again. 
So hopefully the goal of this will have all of our clothes blocked in and maybe even get our shoes going for today. Or we'll do something completely different. Who knows? Ooh. And Kyle, we're still waiting on the secrets to be revealed that you promised. Okay, perfect. Okay, Z remeshed hands. And we'll Z remesh the body. Duplicate. I think we'll be okay here. And I'm not taking any time to really do any guides just because there, there's no need for this. great everything I've wanted and more out of a Z remesh oh man I love Z remesh so good okay and I think the head is already done we'll do yep the head's ready to go too we'll just duplicate the head and we're gonna get everything else ready up there too Rainmaker, how's it going? Oh, Diego Luca, how's it going? Welcome. I know, well, I'm glad you came by and said hi. As we messing around in here. Delete hidden. Delete hidden. This is probably the part that's going to get look the worst. So we'll try to figure out how to make that look better. Oops. Delete hidden. Okay, okay, okay. Wiz love, how's it going? We'll take that and we're going to cut it off. Actually, we're going to cut it off right here to give ourselves more play. So if any of you guys don't know, we're using a software called ZBrush. And there's a free trial in the link below. Below. Um and there's good stuff good stuff delete hidden i guess i have to delete higher delete higher delete hidden okay um matt if you would example how would you make the hair for a character like hanzo from overwatch mm, hanzo a tori hanzo You know, what I would do for him is I would, it would be block in shapes. And this is pretty much how I do every, all my hair. So let's see, let's pull up an image of Mr. Hanzo here. Great character design, by the way. 
So I would block in basically big shapes. Oh boy. Big shapes for the head. And then I would use inserts for here and for this and just kind of merge them as I go. This might be a better view image. So it's 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 fairly simple. You're just it's just big block in shapes. What I would do, nothing special. This his hair is actually one of the more easier hairs you could probably do. It's just big block in shapes. You've got one. I mean, these were this is all one shape. Whoops. Then you've got another big shape for like the bun, which I would just clay tubes back, and then another shape here. So I might show some techniques on how I do stylize hair with her once um, once she's all put together. Okay, there we go for that. Now I'm going to merge these all together. Oh, I'm missing some stuff. No, switch please. No Hanzo. <laughs> we need a healer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no problem. Okay, so I'm going to merge these all down. Merge down. Merge down. Great. And I just use ZBrush's bridge tool, curve bridge, making sure symmetry is off. I don't know why it works better with symmetry off. Actually, I'm going to keep symmetry off on for the wrist because the, this part works just fine. Tap to accept. And I'm just going to do a quick flip. But around the neck, if you have symmetry off, it'll work better. So symmetry off around the neck and then it's going to go up around this neck. And no, it's not going to be the prettiest topology but it will do just fine if I you know if I wanted I'd take more time to to make the zero mesh a little bit more whoops user friendly but not in this not in this stream today I just don't want to waste too much time And then I can just smooth some of this stuff back out. <laughs> yes, those are good. Our little two, one and a half year old is like wired right now in his in his crib, just having the time of his life. <laughs> okay, and that's how you make three meshes one mesh. <laughs> I hope you are all taking notes. You're off to go play Divinity Two, but I'll subscribe to both the Twitch and the YouTube account. Okay, we'll see you, Slushy. This has been great. I'll actually only be on for one more week on the Pixelogic um, streams. But I'll probably be doing some more personal streams from time to time. But those won't be recorded. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay, next looking just a wee bit too beefy. Okay, so now I need to get all that high topolo topology, you know, the high res topology that I had already sculpted. I can transfer that by just subdividing this up, you know, a few times. And now I can go in, turn on my hands.
I'm just going to project all that high res detail. Because watch, these hands will pop in just a second. So now those hands look great, but everything else looks like poop. My wife likes it when I say poop when I stream. So it does look like poop. So now I will get the body, invert that blur mask, turn on the original body, project. And see all that detail will come back into this just like that you know a couple areas that we can fix but nothing too outrageous So now we need to get the, all that detail that we had in the head back, and then we'll be done. That, I mean, pretty much that body's sculpted out the way we want. Turn on the head, make sure this is back to the high. Project again. It'd be nice to have like a kapow when it's done. Like a kapow! Wouldn't that make like a small explosion? And sculpting some of this stuff that was never really there. not too much on the neck because I hate when there's too much detail on the neck. <laughs> just a little hints of detail. That's all I want. That's all I've ever wanted. Just some hint of neck detail. Okay, and just fixing some things around that make me furious. I feel like every, with every character, I start focusing on new things of like, Ugh, I hate this ear, or I hate these eyebrows or <laughs> you know and, and then I figure out a new solution to make them look a little bit more aesthetic and pleasing And 
that is not how you do it. That's a good amount of detail. <laughs> Let's hope it doesn't, not the wrong amount of detail. So what I'm switching to between right there is just like a, a regular smooth and then like a hard smooth or a strong smooth. Not a hard smooth, but just to get the different style of look for that. And now that I have all this stuff, I can delete all the high res stuff that I had to keep my sub tool nice and clean. Or my list over here. There's my other temp eye. Yeah. And I could just turn it on and I've got no junk. Yes, I hate having junk. Especially in my trunk. Yeah, you're new. Um, this started last week. Right? Two weeks ago, last week? No, it started two weeks ago. So, yeah, it started two weeks ago because I did the head the first week, the body the next week, and now we're merging everything and we're going to start putting, let's block out her clothes. Yeah, let's block out her clothes real, and then we will just continue on the merry way. certain breaks to stay the same hey Tom well welcome glad you made it awake hope you had a nice rest I'm glad you could join us again
So right now I'm making a shirt. I've just extracted off that mask. And because she's wearing a, like a tank top, it's not going to be super skin tight. But to grab kind of the bust from her, pretty easy to do. Sharpening off some of these edges and then I um, will just zero mesh this at fairly low. Like maybe 0.1, see what that gives us. Um, and obviously it's going to keep these cups, which I don't necessarily want. Because when you have like a, a shirt, it's going to actually kind of fill in between these. So, so we'll kind of do some sculpting. And then zero mesh it again. Yeah, that's better. <laughs> is my dearly yes is my dearly beloved she's working she's not working on my next video she's actually just working on some editing on her own she she does she's a videographer in her when she's not editing <laughs> redbeard stuff she's actually making her own films which are quite good she makes these little advertisements and does these little mini stories which human interest is what she says or something to that matter, but she, they're really great. So she's working on some of that right now. Well, we're making clothes over here. <laughs> Yeah, I actually want her arms to be thicker. Um, they're probably a little bit too thick right now, but we'll get we'll probably thin them out. But I do want to have like she's got these thick legs and thick arms and really skinny waist, which is kind of interesting. But I think you're right. Maybe they're a little bit too thick right now. And per bad wano, we're gonna s we're gonna thin these out just a titch, not too much, but just a teach.
but now that like I have this low this low poly to make some of these big changes it's really easy to do Yeah, that looks better. Let's change angle. Okay. Looks better already. Nice. Yeah, I like where the shoulders are though. Actually, I do want to pull them forward just a bit. Okay, that's probably where I want that. And already I'm, I'm starting to think about like the curves of the shirt. How they kind of concave and flare at certain points. Mm -hmm. We'll see how this turns out. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, the hands turned out pretty good. Um, I actually just, I used the hands that I taught. Well, I didn't use them, but I used the base mesh that I made from the hand tutorial that I just released in Gumroad to make those hands. And even though I'm, I teach how to make a male hand, I actually go into what it takes to do with the female hand and like an old, an old man hand. So if you guys are interested in learning how to do stylized hands, self-plug, <laughs> go to my Gumroad, which is the link right there, gumroad.com slash redbeard, and then I've got that hand tutorial that teaches how to make a female hand. Well, it teaches it how to make a male hand and a base mesh, but you learn the principles of how to make kind of any stylized hand including a female hand, which I show in the, tu the tutorial, which is similar to this. A shirt. <laughs> hey, thanks, King. Or Knight, sorry. Kingly Knight. Let's see.
just look at some references. See if I want to change that top at all. Might want to change it just a little bit. Woulda, shoulda, coulda. I'm going to change the top. Okay, here we go. What is this model for? Um, for fun. <laughs> Nothing really. It's based off a sketch I did. Okay, we'll watch. This will be fun. Bring these in. Give them some support. <laughs> our imagination to pretend that she's in a sports bra which is a little bit more support This is ZBrush, and it is pretty much an industry standard at this point. If you're looking to get into the game film industry, you can't just know Maya anymore. Maya is the worst. Actually, just imagining that the shirt will actually be the support for her. So, I don't know, some parts are going to look weird. We'll fix that. Am I gonna pose her? Uh, eventually, yeah, I think I think I will make it all nice and cohesive to pose her. Um, she is. Let me show you what she's a part of. Instagram. So, da da da. Oops. She's a part of the ins my Instagram of this duo. So technically, she, well, there'll be two girls at the end. So this will be one. She'll be the other one. And this is my how to sculpt the hand with subtitles. Mm-hmm. 
Okay. Gotta get some more music as the last of the playlist ended. Where'd my pen go? Okay. Some you gotta use kind of good judgment on how to make these appealing while not looking too balloonish. And I'm just kind of like tapping on the inflate brush to kind of squish them together. And then just finessing. kind of feel like they're being lifted and pushed up, pushed back a little bit. What a fun thing to do all day. But now we can fix, I want to adjust, nice, but now I can fix this top to make it not look so dorky, as it was looking kind of dorky, and actually give the top purpose. And it doesn't even change like it's not gonna even change that much, but it is gonna I think it's gonna give the top a lot more believability and still have the overall effect that I want. These girls are just going to be in memory of summer as winter is coming. <laughs> <laughs> the Game of Thrones. I 
Oh, that's so much more believable. Actually, let's just Z remesh that. And we're going to make it even more believable. Can you believe that? Believability across the across the board. Darken. Yes. Um, <laughs> they don't look too bluish. They look <laughs> surgically precise. Okay, good. Then then the goal <laughs> has been met. <laughs> Let's see. Um, I casually started Z brushing into your tutorial that three years ago. This is one of my models. Ooh. Let's check this out. Oh, whoa. That's a cool concept. Hey, her face looks great, too. I feel like that's me being sucked into. Watch this. I'm going to put a like on it. I'm not. I should put this on the screen. This is really cool. This is great. You've got some great anatomy, just enough definition. I really like the face. You could probably push that those open eyes just a titch more, you know, so you see just a little bit more white around the eyes. But really cool concept, really good render. Hey, thanks for sharing. Oh, I'm look at this. Uh, to get the clean edges lines like in the head, do you use the pinch brush? Um, like these lines, I actually use this uh, jack cut brush. It is a modified, let's see, it's a modified Ma cut brush. So if you have like the Ma brushes, it's very, very similar to Ma cut A or Ma cut, yeah, I think it's just very similar, but the, uh, the impact isn't so big. But it's it's very similar to that, just a little bit cleaner. You can't even see, but like a little bit cleaner, and it doesn't destroy too much topology like the mock-up does. But it is if you have any of my tutorials, uh, those that brush is included. Let's see what I've got here. I've got some weird stuff going on here. Let's delete this hidden. that again that's better am I checking the sculpt timber am I checking the stuff from sculpt timber you know <laughs> I I don't think I've seen too much of sculpt timber I haven't been participating obviously I actually didn't know sculpt timber was a thing until like a couple days ago so I must be out of the loop or something I always thought it was sculpt November or November or something or sculpt Mar I don't know um, I haven't seen I, I haven't really looked into it but I should because I, I saw someone posting some of the stuff <laughs> Early Lara Croft, yes.
Hey, Patchy, how's it going? <laughs> okay, let's figure out. Okay, let's go back and add those straps. Those are way too thick. Much better. Okay. Perfect. That feels just a lot better. And then I can take this Z modeler brush and then give that some thickness. Maybe just a little bit more thickness. Night, you're the man. No problem. That was a that was an awesome model. Um, this stage is <laughs> oh, so it was created by Ryan Kingsley. I knew that there was a group in November doing basically the same thing as as Inktober, but for sculpting, like sculpt Vember. Oops. which i've i try to do once but my goodness it's uh, hard to do <laughs> not impossible so now that'll have like some tension and then p some poppage you always want some poppage right Right, babe? of the bottom which I like to do she's probably not going to be actually a cinematic character so I can push some of these shapes just a little bit more You know, there could be very little sculpting that I need to do to this to make it better. You know, a couple wrinkles, tight, some tight lines, but not too much. Oh my 
goodness. We lost the music again. Because there was only two songs on that page. Ryan is the guru. Ryan knows everything. It's so much fun like listening to his lectures because like he will just go off on random anatomy tangents which are hilarious because he knows every like if you ever just listen to him talk about anatomy he's just so knowledgeable in it that like he is like speaking a different language but he knows it by heart and like inside it out it is awesome Okay, just for funsies, I'm putting some edges, some edge loops on some of these, just so I can do just that. That's all I want right now. I'm not going to worry about sculpting any of that. So let's give it a slight color. kind of see the tension lines are just a little too high Um, so we've got a question from X Timden. Wait, what? Oh, wait. No, wait. That's not the question. That's <laughs> from Dry Hotter. <laughs> okay, so. Hi, Matt. Do you always sculpt cloth? Do you always model clothing in a neutral pose? Uh, it depends on. De it depends, really. Most of the time I do. But most of the time I don't do any of the detail until. I pose it like I will maybe a couple like wrinkles where like where I know like the, there'll be tension across the breast um, so I'll probably keep that but as far as like sculpting in actual wrinkles I won't do any of that until I'm ready to to pose it to pose so I'll block out all the clothes for sure and then I'll I'll model then I'll sculpt the, the wrinkles it just helps nail down proportions especially like around the legs or the, the tummy like uh, you know breaks are here and and what the silhouette's gonna what the clothes are gonna do to the silhouette because you can you end up making something thicker than you need it
That looks better. Okay, let's see. Um, wait, what did you do? How did you attach it like that? How did I attach the strap? The strap's not actually attached. It's its own sub-tool over here. It's just the same color, so it looks like it's attached. So nothing there. Yes. Kung Lee legs. Chung Lee? Kung Lee? Chung Lee? My boss is going to hate me for not knowing that. He is a huge uh, Street Fighter nut. So we'll keep the top the way it is right now and not worry about any wrinkles for that purpose. There's not going to be a lot of wrinkles in there anyways because it's a tight shirt. Ooh, there's a Facebook group of Sculpt Timber. Look at that. That's cool. The thing is, I, I think you should do any, everything, anything every single day, so more power to it. Oops. Keep white. There we go. My reference image is too big. Okie dokie doke. Okay. Now on to the shorts. So the shorts will actually I'll break up into you know a bunch of different pieces. Because you have the the main body of the shorts, then you'll have the roll-ups, because these will have like little roll-ups. You'll have the loops and then the the back pockets will all be separate. What you listening to there, babe? Sorry. <laughs> yes. No, you're fine. Is that your rap? Yeah. Debating, debating, debating. I like to look at my character a lot in silhouette, like just in flat color mode. Just to make sure my s I'm still concentrating on f curves and flats. You know, that everything has good rhythm and flow to it. Mm hmm. Uh, topology brush time or just extracts honestly for this I just do extracts and Z remesh it let's keep them high
Okay, I feel good about that. Okay, uh, then just do a simple extract. I'm not worried about the thickness, so accept. If it was like a more complicated piece, like a suit where I wanted certain topology or you know something that I really cared about the topology with, I would probably draw it out with the topo tool. But this is you know more just for funsies anyways. Delete hidden. And with this I'm probably gonna do a close holes. Actually let's clean up those edges just a bit. Close holes. And then I'm gonna dynamesh this too. Maybe a little bit higher. As we've taken all that time to sculpt her butt, and now we're gonna just hide it. <laughs> Okay, now I can zero mesh this. And the one thing I'm going to do is before when I zero mesh, I'm going to keep my groups. So I keep these holes. Keep groups, take the smooth down, take the heart target down, and zero mesh it. Ah, oh, Juano, yes! I'm doing great having a good time putting clothes on a girl feels great <laughs> mm -hmm. gonna change one more thing How are you guys doing? How are you doing? Man, oh, I was going to talk about a conspiracy this week that I that I was like, "Oh, I can't believe we haven't talked about this in a while." But I I can't remember what the conspiracy was. It was probably about oh, Antarctica. Ooh. Have you decided to buy that kick? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I I did buy it. <laughs> I okay, I bought it with the complete expectation that there's like a 90% chance that I'm never going to get it. But also like if the 1% chance does happen that I do get it, I will be very happy. So, and I'm okay to wait. I'm in no rush. All right, so now we have that topology looking a lot better for the shorts. Fits her nicely. And now I can select these. Oops. Okay, the Antarctica. Have you guys heard of the Antarctica conspiracies? The conspiracies surrounding Antarctica? This is some of the best stuff. Whoops. Good night. Good night, wife. Good she says good night, internet. Hmm. Couldn't keep those. Can't keep the holes. 
delete hidden. Hi, Carla. Sweet dreams. Um, so the the SLA printer, they, so they have the estimated time of arrival in December, which obviously isn't going to happen. I'm still waiting on some headphones that I ordered like last, I think last September, maybe even last August. They're supposed to be shipped in before Christmas, and of course they're not going to ship before Christmas. So... I'm still waiting on those headphones. They may or may not be shipping this next week. They probably won't. But you know that's that's the price. I mean not I mean that's not the price, but like these are startup companies. There's going to be as long as they do deliver something in the end, I'm happy. So it's called the Spark Printer by Wow. And it's it's a little printer. The print bed's not very big. It's like the print bed is probably that big. Four inches by two and a half or four inches by three inches by five inches. So it's it's not super big. But it's gonna be fine. The pyramids in the underground base, Diablo knows! Yes! <laughs> so this is great i'm so glad diablo knows this conspiracy okay this is one of my favorite conspiracies because it links to many other conspiracies so the conspiracy is that like antarctica is this is an unclaimed territory like the only unclaimed territory in the world and there is like a mutual agreement with multiple countries around the world to not claim Antarctica like it is to not drill and to not drill for oil there because it's a very rich in oil place which is unheard of because oil is like everything You're like that's what everyone makes their money is oil oil and if there's a there's a place to drill oil which there is in Antarctica you would drill there but nobody they have this like international agreement that nobody can take antarctica which is weird right so that's one that's one weird thing two the second weird thing is is the uh that excuse me that all all presidents since like before George Washington have visited Antarctica and for like two weeks at a time to go visit Antarctica and not just like George Washington, but all world leaders have gone and visited Antarctica for like two weeks at a time. They go there and what do they do in Antarctica? In Antarctica? I don't know. <laughs> Let's duplicate this real quick. Anyways, and and in the World War II, the Germans or the Nazis spent a ton of time in Antarctica developing some new technology, which many rumored to be like UFOs. Watch this. This is great. This is one of the greatest things. We're going to do this right now because I love it. Nazi UFO. And this is... Where is it? Where's like the official one? There's like an official like Nazi UFO that they were developing that they were trying to use in like with technology that they were supposedly getting from Antarctica because they were spending so much time down there like researching something. Plus, uh, it's oh, Antarctica is so cool. Let me 
just gonna make these bend over. Sorry, like a like full on rant, and then I stop. I'm like, oh, I need this. Ugh. And so they have this international agreement that nobody minds Canada or not <laughs> Canada. Nobody should mind uh, drill in Antarctica. And delete hidden. We're going to zero mesh the crap out of this. Great. So there's this agreement that nobody that nobody drills or claims Antarctica. All the world leaders go and they meet there and they spend like two weeks at a time. What are you doing for two weeks at a time to go to Antarctica? And then there's all these ideas that those, oh, well, there's there's these pyramids in Antarctica. And let's find those. We've got to show we've got to show off the pyramids. If we're going to show the Nazi UFOs, we've got to show the Antarctica <laughs> Pyramids. Look, see? Look at all this stuff that's here. So they have like these pyramids in Antarctica, and there's like three of them, I think, that are, they look just like pyramids. Like this is a top down view of this pyramid that are supposed to be ancient, like before the, the actual pyramids. And they find these like doorways near these pyramids, like these huge giant caves that don't look like caves, but just look like doorways. I'm we're we're full on conspiracy mode. Full on conspiracy mode, babe. Okay, well, I'm just here to fix them. Oh, fine. Anyways. So the idea is that it there if you go into another conspiracy about the you, the uh the inner earth society which there's a belief that here we're going to do this instead there's a belief that there that the earth is in fact hollow and I guess this is good if I should kind of see what we're doing here. The earth is hollow and that that's where this there it's like a galaxy or it's not it's like an interplanetary uh bar down there and everyone all these aliens are just hanging out the Anagis down there um like everyone's down there having a good time you know like broing it out you're like, oh man, have you been down to the Inner Earth Society? I'm like, oh yeah, of course we have. Oh, it's so cool. They've got the blue people and the green people and the greys are down there and the lizards are down there and they're all like working on international interplanetary treaties and, and whatnot. Anyways, it's great fun. So like any like the conspiracies surrounding Antarctica are uh, numerous and they're great and they're just like they're the they're the best they're so hilarious. Anyways, and yeah, there there was like a lot of reports on these Nazi UFOs that they were working on like zero zero gravity technology and you know there's there's even like reports of like these little orb spheres flying over uh u.s pilots and like there's reports of these like spheres like little balls of light that flew over them and would chase would chase them for miles it's crazy it's really weird
anyways let's see um but that that's like one of many theories about <laughs> about antarctica Like the king of England just went there with his family and like his reasoning behind it was something like, I want to dedicate this to the sacrifice of the pioneers or something. And like, okay, but why are you going to Antarctica to do that? <laughs> but him and his family is but two weeks there. Anyways, yeah, it's like the cantina. The alien queen is over there. She's They're all over there. Well, the earth is definitely flat, but there's a dome underneath the earth, you know, where a sub-level of flatness is occurring, obviously. <laughs> yes, everyone should actually be here for the conspiracies. Like, the art's cool and all, but everyone does art. The conspiracies is where it's at. So that, that's always, that's probably one of my favorite ones to get into is like talk about that. Oh, and how like the moon is actually hollow. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the moon conspiracies are the best. Oh, he hit the, oh, the prince, the prince of England. Sorry, Darkin. <laughs> I've made a horrible mistake. So the <laughs> the, the Earth flag conspiracy is is the dumbest and most hilarious one, but that just like goes to prove that like people can have the right to believe in anything they want i guess i don't know have the right or if they're just they can believe in anything but it also just goes to show that like people will just put it dig in their heels and it doesn't matter what you say to them they'll never believe you <laughs> they'll never change their mind because they believe in this is how what this is the way they believe and it's not even worth getting into like talking to real flat earthers would just be a horrible nightmare to me. But the, the moon theory of like the moon. So the moon is, is crazy. Like you think, let's think about the moon for a second because the moon is, is a weird thing. So the moon <laughs> is always facing us. <laughs> right no matter no matter what time of year no matter what you know it's always it's always looking at us this is gonna be great so the theory is that like it's actually a space station the moon and it's inhabited by a moon the moon people obviously who else would it be inhabited by And I'm trying to like concentrate and do this at the same time and it's not working very well. Anyways, the moon the moon stuff's fun. But the even like the even better stuff, like that's why we haven't been back is because like we broke a treaty or something, or like they just don't like the way we cook our sausages anymore and like they're like, How dare you change your rest you used to be like the original colonel and now you're not and so <sighs> thought I just killed everything. Insert.
September full. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that way it's towered like a pyramid. Like. No, I like that. You could make the font bigger. I would make that this the launch. Yeah, so September bigger. Bigger. Keep going. Can you make it bold or is it already bold? Mm, don't make it bold. Yeah, that's good. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Okay, anyways, what were we talking about? The the moon, of course. So the moon is awesome because it's fake, for one, but we also fake the moon landing, which it was directed and done by Stanley Kubrick, which is the best theory. Oh, my gosh. There is some great conspiracy theory around that. And I actually, like, kind of believe some of it because it's if you think about the moon landing there was so much on the line like i don't think that we we i think we landed on the moon let me get that out of there i think we landed on the moon but i do think that there was so much riding on the us landing on the moon that they had a backup plan in case Oh, gosh. That reminds me I need to save this. In case, like, we didn't do it. One, in case we we didn't land on the moon. I think they had that backup plan. And two, like, broadcasting from the moon. Like, to think of, like, oh, yeah, this is just going to work just fine. I think that they had a backup plan. Of like, okay, well, if we can't show we're actually landing on the moon, how about we just have a moon landing that we can show that we know that we could broadcast. So I think that they had in their back pocket a landing, you know, a moon landing ready to go. And if Stanley Kubrick was in on that or not, I don't know. But there's a lot of great conspiracy out there that points that he did. Mainly like the amount of budget that his is really interesting because he goes from what does he do? He does a movie like let's look at his timeline. Cuz cuz his budgets for movies goes crazy and I like the rumor is that he agreed to do the moon landing, fake the moon landing with the contingency that he would be able to have the money he needs to make, you know, to make any movie that he wanted and have the budget for it. Anyways, and so like the budgets for the Stanley Kubrick films after that, I think he does Space Odyssey, whereas his budget goes from like an unheard of amount of money to do. Stanley Kubrick films. So he does something like, okay, let's look. Da, 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 da. Oh yeah, so he does like, so this is the movie that sold it on him was Dr. Strangelove, or How I Learned to Love the Atomic Bomb, or Love the Bomb, and then, which is like this tiny little budget. And then he goes and he makes Space Odyssey for which at that time in like 1968, was a ridiculous amount of money. Just like crazy, crazy amount of money. So, 
So the rumor is that he he did the he faked the moon landing in so that he could <laughs> so that he could uh oh gosh. So that he could have the budget to make anything that he wanted. And then he revealed that he did it, like his confession letter, if you if you will, for that was uh, The Shining, which is a pretty big departure from Stephen King's original version. Like just full on stuff happens and, and scenarios happen without that are, have no relation to the the original book. Just want to make sure. Sorry, I'm like trying to talk and then I'm like, oh yeah. My wife makes fun of me all the time for doing this. Like, I can't sculpt and talk at the same time. Anyways, there's there's some great... There's full-on documentaries about Stanley Kubrick faking the moon landing. And, like, all the signs in The Shining that point to him doing that. And they're awesome. There's, like... There's all this stuff going on of, like, the kid... There's one big scene where the kid is in the hallway and he's playing with like rockets and on the carpet is looks like a launch pad, just like the Apollo 11, like the NASA launch pad. And he's wearing an Apollo 11 t-shirt actually, which is the rocket that, that went to the moon. And as he's, he sees something and he goes up to the door, which I think is room like 327. Um, I've got to get this right. The shining door. So he goes up. Yeah, so three, it's two, sorry, not 327, 237. I'm dyslexic. Anyways, he goes up to the room that's, that's what is it 237 which is the exactly the amount of miles it is away from the moon is away from from earth <laughs> and like two, 237,000 miles and and um oops and uh, this, it's supposed to symbolize everything in that door is fake. Like everything in that room is fake to, sh to symbolize that, yeah, he, he faked it. Like that was his big gotcha moment. Like, ah, I've got to finally reveal like myself. This is fake or whatever. But it's very interesting. Oh, I should probably look at the comments. <laughs> How can it keep an orbit? I don't know. It is always so bright. <laughs> yeah, the confetti. Like, and watching some of the technology that Stanley Kubrick made for filming um that he made for filming Dr. Strangelove is he did this like he he'd have a big scene like a big background and then a he'd cut the curtain off so it looked like it was just a part of the mountain and then you have the background behind it and you see that all throughout the moon landing 
footage. So it's it's so so similar to what Stanley Kubrick was doing, and that he does like all throughout Space Odyssey, especially in that opening scene. It's just it's just very interesting, very interesting stuff. But watch there's the Stanley Kubrick, any of the many Stanley Kubrick documentaries about it. And it's like, huh, you start to second guess and you're like, oh my gosh, did, did we land on the moon? Did, was this all faked? And the answer, yep, probably. Um, I don't know that. Let's see. Uh, so what is my type line when I work? How much time do I spend in modeling my work? You know, it, my I spend like the majority of my day in ZBrush. Like ZBrush has just made it, or PixLogic has just made it so easy to not ever have to leave. You know, they've got a bunch of great retopping tools. Um, they have, you know, I can build my entire base mesh now with like Ziri Mesher and everything that I can, I can pretty much get start to finish until I'm ready for final final topology in ZBrush and so and then when I when I have that I'll switch over to like another program but until then like I'm full on full on ZBrush let's make that just slightly more appealing Ooh. There we go. But we spent all that time on her butt, so in case we wanted to do that, we totally could. <laughs> Just kidding, guys. Ha 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 ha. Um, am I using Zebra's materials on her eyes? Yes, I am. On her eyes, it's the... And I'm actually I'm using it elsewhere, too. So you got Zebra eyes... And I don't know if is does he do the Z one two three four like all these? These are the majority of the matte caps that I use um, until I start actually like painting and stuff.
easiest one of these to look closer to like they're almost pinching their legs anyways Doo -doo -doo -doo. Oh, nice. Sweet Diablo. Let me know if you have any questions on that hand tutorial. That was actually a lot of fun to do. Just a little bit shorter, a little bit different of like teach a little bit different teaching style that I've done in the past. Also, I hope everyone has seen. Ooh, let's see what here. Um, do I use the zebra reflective material as default? No, I don't use the reflective material. I use this zebra eye reflection. So it's the eye reflection, and it's just so if there was no. If there's no color, let's switch to my eyes. If there are no color, it would just look like this. So I paint it on with like a skin shade four and then I switch the material. And then I use this Z7 and Z1 matte caps for just like the rest of the sculpt until I'm ready to start painting details. I don't know. What happened with Zebro? <laughs> Again, Carla. <laughs> Oh yeah, thanks Diablo. Yeah, so I'm trying to I've got um a few two more tutorials that I'm working on that are set up in the same way where I've got shorter videos everything's more condensed and and broken down so you're not being overwhelmed with information and then and then having to watch like an hour video at a time like I want all my videos to be shorter cuz there's there's a lot that you can do by learning by watching but this the human can only stand so much right like you can only stand watching so much before you get bored out of your mind so especially like with learning like you can only remember so much that's being taught so i try to break it up into you know shorter videos and then you can practice what's being taught and then move on to the next one The line of the tibia is so strong. Okay, let's. Um, I'm going to take a short break, like a five minute break, and then we're going to keep 
we're going to keep going. I'm going to finish the pants with the loops, the belt, the pockets, and then we'll just keep going from there. Right? Am I right? Right? Just say, shut up, Matt. Shut up, Redbeard. What do you know? Not much. Anyways, let's do I'm going to save. And I'll see you in five minutes. Whoa, And we're back.
<laughs> yeah. Could you make me a sandwich too? That'd be great. Anyways, I'm super excited for Halloween. I love Halloween. It's my favorite time of year. I hope everyone out there has seen it. Yes, get some coffee too, please. Please get some coffee. <laughs> Though if I have coffee, I'll be up all night. Which isn't that bad because then we're just all hanging out. We're just going to all hang out all day, all night. Woo-woo! Okay, let's do, we're going to make some loopies for the belt loop, and then we will do the bunts. Okay. And this is a this is why I love ZBrushes. Just the Z Modeler brush has become my favorite thing in the world.
Am I going to have this complete next week? <laughs> the scoff scared the shit out of you. <laughs> is, is that time of year? I mean, we've been talking about crazy conspiracies. Things are going to start scaring us. Um, I would like to. That'd be cool to have at least, you know, her completely done. Last week will be my last week streaming um, for ZBrush, for Pixel Logic. It's it's just gotten a little too difficult to do streaming and and Redbeard stuff and life. So they've they've been very nice. Let me do this month, and then and then you know maybe do a couple of like random events. Just come back and do like a, another month or two or a week or two. So we've got one more. We've got one more week. Yeah, things are just getting just a little too busy, and I, I want to do it all. Like, the, the me <laughs> really wants to do it all. I just am, like, just dying <laughs> slowly of tiredness. So, I couldn't, I can't do it all. And like I'll jump on I'll jump on my own streams every now and then. Uh, we'll see if it gets if I could do a regular thing, but I I doubt that I will. It'll mainly just be uh, just here and there surprise streams. Maybe I'll announce it beforehand somewhere, but. So, but we're going to have a great rest of today and next week. Surprise streams are the best. <laughs> yeah, so next next week, yes. Next week is my last week. Let's take this music freaking anyone else out. <laughs> Flats, your Niners lost a close one. Oh, it's been a, it's been a rough it's been a rough couple of days. <laughs> not Bland's. It's definitely just not Bland's week. <laughs> Here, get out of the way. Yeah, so it's it's nothing it's nothing personal to anyone. 
it basically just boiled down to like okay if I want to do ZBrush if I want to do the red beard tutorials which I love doing like I just don't have time to do both so unfortunately that's the way it is but I'll be back every now and then Plus, I still want to do a podcast about conspiracy theories and like paranormal stuff. But that may just be a pipe dream that never happens. But if it does, it's going to be great and hilarious because, you know, zany commentary. And I'll have Kyle on and he'll talk about all of, you know, the ghosts that haunt Pixelogic and, and, uh, and then he'll tell me the secrets of ZBrush and like he promised to do, which he still promises to do, Kyle, if you're listening. Are there any theories on clones? <laughs> that is a funny one. Gosh, what am I doing? Make sure I've got the right size. Yeah, that's about it. Is looking a little too crowded back there. Shirt, why are you still on? I hope everyone has seen it. The movie, not like you haven't. I hope that you've seen it, but you've. I've seen the movie. It. It is fantastic. 
probably one of my favorite movies this year like movie not just horror movie but movie this year No, not yet. Oh, we can't talk about it then. We can't talk for, about it di for Diablo. Yes, I listened to Coast to Coast. I haven't listened to it for a while, though. It's probably been like a couple of years since I listened to Coast to Coast. <laughs> I would love to. <laughs> you got, you know Paul and Drust. Oh, good. You just, you just message them and say, hey. <laughs> there's there's no contract that needs to that's necessary <laughs> well those guys are awesome Paul is like one of my favorite people period so is Joseph I mean those guys are just just as solid as they get Okay, Diablo, we're not going to say anything, but please, please go see it. It is so good. Yeah, it's definitely one of my favorite movies this year. Just because it is so well done, so well filmed, shot, storytelling, character development. It is so, so good. Okay, let's draw some topology now. Yes, please. The original's awesome. I love the original. But this is like it takes the things that you don't like in the original and it makes them so much better. Oh, it makes them so much better. There's only like one there's a few things that I like in the original still. But I'm not I won't mention that here because I don't want to ruin it for anyone. I don't want to even put like the idea of oh well you're not gonna like this or you will like this or rather you just have an organic feeling but please go see it it is so good it's the right amount of scary. It's so good.
I've watched Clown on Netflix already. <laughs> I liked it a lot, actually. I thought it was really well done, and it was creepy. So that movie... Is is
so we just made those with like some friends and like a couple of my brothers and it was fun it was like this Halloween thing we'd have like a live band come and we'd do a big raffle and and it was pretty big for like a few years at least I mean as far as like local horror movie parties can go setting I probably don't want to sculpt too much maybe a couple little things here really don't want to sculpt too much as she'll bit get posed and everything will change but because they're so short she's not gonna have like crazy amounts of wrinkles. I'm not even going to worry about getting into the pockets just yet. <laughs> nice! <laughs> Split second and made in 1991. Is that a real horror movie? <laughs> That's awesome. Yes, I'm not going to be on. Well, next week is my last week. So I'll be on next week. But after that, I won't be on anymore. Or at least as far as I can, that I'm saying that I'm going to be around. I just am, am running out of time to do all the red beard stuff that I want. But you guys will still be with me in my heart. And, uh, and it, you know, Kyle and, and the Pixelogic crew have, have said it, you know, if I, if I have time to come back and do like one, you know, stream every now and then I might do that too. So Kudoku um, Doku. Anyways, heart is the most important of all. That's right. So be for, be sure that you you know follow me on my Twitch, which is I think I think it's just Matt Thorup <laughs> at Matt Thorup. So follow me on Twitch if you're not. Um, more likely, follow me on Instagram and Facebook. That's where I do all my big announcements of what I'm doing and like stuff coming out when i'm streaming if i'm streaming it's all posted more or less on it'll be posted on on that one of those Let's make a button real quick so she has buttons. 
And I'm down to about uh, 20 minutes left on this stream. You played the monster when the original monster went on. <laughs> that is awesome. <laughs> that is great. Oh, Pernil, yeah, she is. She is great. Like, I, I would, I think I was kind of going for that kind of look actually um, when I was drawing this. I think I had just gotten like her, her uh, Inktober book. <laughs> so it probably has a more of a pronoun. Actually. That's better. button there we go a button <laughs> you gotta do something that you won't forget yes if you don't do something blends then i'm just gonna forget you like you never happen <laughs> no i would never forget about you guys ah ah there we go Normally, like when I am blocking out things like this, I'll just throw a quick, like, just graze, pretty much. So I can tell, um, 
like the tones of things just see how things will like read from a distance <laughs> it's gonna be so epic <laughs> okay 20 minutes 15 minutes 15 20 minutes I could start blocking in the shoes why not gotta block in the shoes sometime sorry the roller skates Just looking at some lovely reference here. Boom, found it. That's the one right there. Just so you guys know, it's got some great stuff to it. Yeah, her skin is coming through it a little bit. And again, not really worried about like that as I mean it's it's all gonna change once it once she's posed anyways. So um shoes. Let's just finish her feet real quick not really finishing her feet I'm just kind of smoothing out some of the stuff like fixing some of these divots so they are not so divity. She looks like she's got giant feet to me. Is there something bugged on the right side of the short front? Yeah, it looks like the skin's coming through. Oh, I missed all that. <laughs> 
sniff, sniff. Yeah, I'm not really spending any time if I can help it making these feet look good because I will not see them at all. Okay, let's, I'm going to just duplicate her, delete the lower, and select just one of these feet. And you know, just this is just so from here I can start kind of building the main shapes of the shoe. Again, I, I build the shoe just almost like how you would build a real shoe. I do all the de the separate parts. And I focus on one at a time just because it's easier. And the first thing I'm going to make is like the overall like body of the shoe. So this is actually it's a fairly simple a fairly simple design these retro these retro skates So once I'm like satisfied with that, ooh. <laughs> hey Tom, thank you so much for waking up and joining us for that. That's like, you are the man. Good luck getting to work <laughs> and having energy. Blessed be coffee. <laughs> Thanks for coming by, man. Now I need to watch, what is it, Split Second? I need to watch Split Second and, and see you in it, in your, in all your glory.
actually I don't want everything on for this I just want those two things so now I can start shaping this oh boy Hello, hello, to Switzerland. Do I know who? I know. I don't know anyone's usernames. I don't know who that is, but I'm sure you're great. To Switzerland. I don't know who that is, but if I know your real name. <laughs> Blur. Ah, Thomas, how's it going? <laughs> See, I know who you are. Once I know, <laughs> don't I know? I don't know anyone's like screen names. Did you stream yesterday, Thomas? <laughs> yeah i know and it's it's actually like the same in person like i'll know your or it's like vice versa like i'll know your screen name or i'll know like your art but then i won't i won't have any idea like when i go to the zbrush summits or like ctn you're like hey it's 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 greg oh hey greg they're like the the dude and i'm like oh yeah like we've been intimate friends for a long time i just have never known your real name or what you look like <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> hey, creepy face. She's losing like the petiteness of her foot and I don't like it. Oh, it's in a couple weeks. Oh, the summit's in a couple weeks. Yes. No! Yeah, I wish I was going to the summit this year. I'm always like, ah. Oh. The summit's like the coolest experience. Just like some of the best ZBrush artists in the world all together in one place. Pretty cool just like feed off their energy and like just soak in all these different approaches, all these different backgrounds and like to meet these people that like are just incredible incredible artists and they're awesome people also just great people i think that's the f the coolest part is like you see these guys are just all around studs Oh, nice. Hey, thanks, Squid Tank. And hey, Squid Tank, how's it going? <laughs> yeah, that was that was like the funnest time being with Shane down there a couple of years ago. And just, it was just awesome. It was so cool. I miss working with Shane. He's He's just a solid dude. I want to bring this. Oops. Like, want to bring this foot all the way back. 
just make it short super tiny yes that is what I want What was it like speaking at the summit? I'm speaking at Adobe's X Summit. Oh, that's awesome. You know, what I've found, because I've done, I've done a few things for, for ZBrush. I've done the ZBrush Summit a couple of times, and then I've done, um, no, it wasn't, it wasn't the summit. I did the ZBrush Summit for them once, and then I did uh, CTN when they were doing when they used to do CTN I did that for them once and then I did a 3d printing world conference with them once as well and what I found that people really like to hear I mean they like to hear a little bit about your approach and things but mainly people are really really interested in the story behind it or your theory behind you know something your your approach your theory behind your approach like it's it's cool to see the how-to but we, with such a short time there's very little that you can actually show that's how-to um, I like to show a little bit of the process of what you can do but mainly I really just I like telling kind of a story it feels a little bit more real when when you hear that people had struggles doing something um so that's i mean that's my what i like to do but that's definitely not the only way to do it i mean one of my favorite zbrush summits was like was furio furio and he just went up there and he talked about working with his team and like the cool stuff that he was doing and he, he was just himself, you know, <laughs> uh, and it was, it was awesome to, to see that, you know, I think it's the same with like, when I listen to like Glenn Keane, he's, he's kind of just talking about his own personal life experiences and making and doing something. Right. So it's not so much of like how to, it's, it's more like, okay, well, what's, what's the theory and the thought and the story behind whatever, right? The gray screen of weight, I don't know it. Um, oh, nice, yeah. <laughs> Just about, oh, I'm way over my time limit already. I need this to, to finish this up. Anyways, um, let's see how this relates to the rest of her. We're going to just do a quick test and chop off. Oops. That feels like the right size foot for Okay, anyways, so that's where we're going to end. We're going to have to end this week. Um, I want to thank everyone for coming out. <laughs> um, all right. Thanks for listening to the conspiracies and me ram ramble on about whatnot. Um, I hope you guys have a good week. We'll, we'll join again next week, same time. And then that will be my last week. So thanks for, for being here. Thanks, Pixelogic, for putting this on. They're so great of getting such great artists to stream all the time. Uh, thanks, Tom. Thanks, Knights of Spades. You guys are great. Cobalt, good luck, sir. And, um, yeah, if you guys have any questions about some of the stuff that you did, 
feel free to shoot me a message on Facebook or Instagram. Those are probably the best ways to reach out to me. And then also I've got a series of Gumroad tutorials that teach a lot of the things that you saw tonight and a little bit more in depth too. So thanks Kyle. The, Kyle said he was going to tell us the secrets next week about the summit. Um, so thanks Kyle for putting this on and thanks everyone. You guys have a good night or afternoon or morning. Whew. Let's see if I can fall asleep. We'll see you guys.